in all of my work, whether it has to do with the natural world or, or not. I mean, I think ultimately what I'm trying to get at is what it's like to be human. Hi, I'm Jason Gray. I'm the artist in residence in Zion National Park in June of 2023. I have a poem here. It's called Nature. The pine cone opened to the heat and fell. How it now looks as if a propeller's entire motion, all its probabilities are shown at once. The carpenter calls it genius. Let us set our craft down into a basket of multiverses, as my mother did, and know the thing we can be no better than. You know, at a somewhat young age, I started writing poetry and um, I just realized it was something I could do. A lot of my work is, is focused around nature, um, the environment and, and those concerns, the interactions with the environment and humanity. So getting to do that here at a place like this um, and really focusing on it is, I mean, perfect. You know, I'm going out on a lot of hikes, um, spending a lot of time exploring the park, you know, and instead of maybe just sitting down and writing, um, having to take some notes and just sort of now working by sort of accumulation of the note taking the observations I've seen and sort of assembling that into a poem or an essay. Um, I'm, I am a very visual person, I think, and, and so it is sort of starting with what I see. You know, I'm usually trying to like touch the canyon wall, see what that feels like. You know, what am I, what am I seeing? Um, you know, what am I hearing? Am I hearing these different birds? Trying to figure out what they are. And then seeing what that you know feels like to me, and yeah, at some point, hopefully, coming up with with a phrase or maybe a whole line uh, for a poem. If I see something like animals interacting, you know, what what am I um, getting out of that? What is that story? You know, I think a lot of things that I I find interesting um, about what I see is it, to me what's interesting is the scenic, like what imagining the story that is happening there, and like whether it is completely imagined in my own head, you know, um, or maybe that is sort of real, what, what these animals might be doing. I'm starting to imagine a spider and an octopus and dance together now. Um, but trying to imagine that story and like, what does it mean to be these particular animals, say, or, you know, and um, what might be an interesting thing for a human to, to know out of, out of that. I think one of the things that I find particularly inspiring about being here is, is that time scale of these canyon walls, you know, of this environment. I mean, these, it's been 200 million years of these things being built up and two million of the Virgin River taking it down. And how do you build something? How do you write something that is lasting and, and what might have meaning for people, not only now, but, but later? And, and so that is sort of what I, I feel like being here is sort of trying to connect with that long time scale. We are individually only here for a short time, but humanity is here for a long time, maybe, hopefully. And, and so have these animals uh, and these trees that have been here for, you know, a long time. And, you know, what does that mean in comparison to our lives? And, you know, that we have to share this space with other things.